Okay, so this game is the final of EQL 10. Um, this is between TVS and Slackers. On TVS we've got Xantom, Blaze, Milton and Eminem. And on Slackers we've got Zero, Diman, Paradox and Murdoch. Um, today, uh, and hopefully for the future, we've got Carapace with us. Hello Carapace. Hello, what's up? Yo. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about kind of what the scene was like in around 2010, what had just been happening in the other seasons? Yeah, so this game took place late in th 2009, and the Slackers uh, has been on a real roll up until this point, like for, I'm not really sure time-wise, but at least like a year or more. Yeah. So they've been really dominating, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll see in this game if they can continue that streak. Cool, okay. So the final of EQL 10. First map's DM3. Alright, we've got the countdown. Alright. Good. So, looks like Diman's got the first rocket launcher. Uh, Paradox has got the pent for Slackers. Yeah, really good start for Slackers here. Uh, Santum coming up with the ring and the quad in the beginning here, and Milton has the LG. Yeah, Milton's been oh, taken yeah. down by Paradox there. Though. Yeah, really nice by Paradox. Tracking down the LG. So key to get that LG down quickly before he can go to red and gather up some some bigger stack. Wow. Oh, Milton managed to steal <laughs> the rocket off Paradox there. That I think Milton was probably aware that he didn't have the grenade launcher. I saw another TVS player hassling um, Slackers at the beginning to try and get that grenade launcher, which meant their rocket launcher was stealable. Yeah, I guess what goes around comes around. Paradox took out Milton's LG and Milton takes out Paradox rocket launcher. So. Yeah. But Milton is the only weapon in the game right now. He'll be yeah. Having, having quad. Santa must have bored the rocket launcher there to Milton because Milton had more HP and. Yeah. Right, to, ensure, to ensure them getting this quad. Yeah, okay, Milton's gonna pick up this red and then try and establish some kind of. Control over yellow in the weapons room to give TVS a chance to get a few more weapons. Imanen has got red and a rocket though. He must have picked up the red armor just for Milton. Yeah, Milton is probably waiting for Imanen here to come and replace him. Wow, Murdoch actually had an LG there. Yeah. So, despite not moving around very much, he actually got a lot done there in that quad run. So Slack, uh, TVS in a very good position now. Zero balls coming into attack. Yellow. Milton doesn't save the pack. Um, I think he's trying to get over to red. He's probably being told that there's danger happening there. Yeah, and sure enough, there's Paradox. And Murdoch on top. Oh, what a, what a <laughs> shot! <laughs> How did he do that? Yeah, yeah, the rocket actually landed on the one of the ceiling uh, ceiling thingies. <laughs> so it splashed. So Slack is putting on early pressure here, not allowing TVS to get comfortable. Um, and forcing Milton to go to red instead of taking that quad, so the quad goes down even though TVS took it. Milton's saving the pack. Yeah. Was that a rocket pack? Yeah, that was the Murdoch pack. Yeah, that's like the worst place to leave a pack in the entire map, is next to the red armor, the most powerful armor. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And wow. Nice, nice free, free lightning gun there, Milton. Yeah, Milton is just doing work. I mean, he doesn't have to do a lot, but like it makes every rocket count and it seems to be enough but and they're he... not unable to establish real good control here no not uh, at all in fact slackers have got more weapons just a lack of a little bit in the armor but milton's the only person with any any red yeah one one thing that slackers probably uh, the best team ever at is pushing the weapons, pushing the yellow, getting all the rocket launchers, getting all the lightning guns. Milton manages to take that red, but he gets he gets telefried actually by Zero, nullifying it, all his red armor. Um, Xantum's got a bit of armor there, but everything to play for here. Just one rocket launcher on each team. Paradox here, and oh, there's a couple now because uh, Blaze just took that one, but he goes down. Xantum's got a rocket launcher over at red, so he might 
be making the difference in the next quad, which will be in about 30 seconds. Yeah, TVS looking a lot better for this quad due to their uh, red control. Uh, Santum hasn't yet picked up the red. Uh, maybe he wants to board the rocket launcher to maybe Milton, I don't know. Paradox is pretty low on health there, and there's, there's only a couple of boxes around there, but they're not spawning yet. Murdoch there has got none as well. So Xantum, uh, Paradox. Wow! Out. And he leaves the rocket pack. What? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, let's see who gets it. Wow, TBS gets it. They now have three rocket launchers. Only zero with a weapon. Yeah, yes, LG and rocket launcher. So some tactical boring there from Santum. Yeah, they've gone Hope down to... to teammates. Not sure if that works though. They've, they've gone down to one rocket launcher. It looks like Slackers might have attacked just at the right time then to prevent that boring <laughs> from actually working out. Yeah, extremely chaotic here in the beginning of that game. As yeah. usual on DM3 and with two good teams. No team able to get a firm control on really any areas or, or weapons at all. Um, zero here. Five rockets his name. Pent's coming up right now. Oh, zero, can get zero's it? got a good position on it. Oh, Blaze drops down with that huge stack. He secures uh, the pan yeah, for his team. Blaze takes it. Paradox has got the ring as well. And Paradox also gets the quad. So Blaze is going to try and hunt him down. Paradox will be probably just trying to survive. Still, is he still on the red? Yeah, yeah. Paradox stole it's the red. That's good work. And he's wasting Blaze's time here. This is yeah. not what Blaze wants to do with this pant, but it's all he can do. Wow, great, great work from Paradox. Yeah, for sure. Wow, well, he even oh, denied it. Oh, okay. Yeah, Blaze has to run away in the end. Wow. Yeah, Amazing. Perfect. Paradox eventually went down. Yeah, but wow, well, I think Blaze yeah. team killed, killed his teammate there. Maybe Imminent, who had a rocket launcher, who actually cleared out red for him. <laughs> so that's the thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Certainly is chaotic start. Anything is happening here. Wow, no rockets, Blaze <laughs> running away. Oh, wow, knocks him right the way up. What happened with that fight as even now gone? We didn't find out. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> seems like Blaze survived and Dimon eventually went down. According yeah. to the HUD, <laughs> at least. Zantum's gonna go down here probably. There he goes. Um, so Blaze here, this is an important bit. This this could secure red control if we get this in stacked. Should mean that his team get a couple of the next reds, but as always there's, there's this balance going on whereby as soon as one player has armor there's another there's an enemy attacking them with a weapon and take them down. It's, it's really swinging back, back and forth here. Um, TBS just 17 frags in the lead. Yeah, this is what it looks like when two really even teams battle it out. It's just chaos and even trades all over. Yeah, every corner you go around there's just another another weapon waiting for you. Uh, yeah. Like another enemy weapon right to attack you. <laughs> and every every battle matters. Nice, nice day there. He got the quad, but got taken out. Yeah, no team really able to cement their lead though. Yeah, not at all. Like if he hadn't got that quad, then maybe that would have been different, you know. And yeah. yeah. Well, it's balance, it? um, TVS are renowned for being able to not give away frags when they're not in control. Um, so despite it being so chaotic, they're, they're fighting so 20 in the lead. Yeah, I think that can be attributed to like slightly more red control and that first pent that went to, to TVS. Yeah, well that yeah that pent was nullified, but it did mean that Paradox's cord and ring was nullified as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the red control is on to get, get the frags. Oh my god, it's like not a single rocket launcher survives <laughs> no. for any amount of peri period of time, you know? <laughs> and no quad. <laughs> no quad, yeah. Quad in two seconds. Wow, trading tit for tat, isn't that how you say it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. Well, Murdoch doing well to survive here, the, team, the enemy is going to be flooding him. Oh, and he's not actually that weak. So, he picked up a few frags there. Uh, they're probably going to leave him alone now. Um, maybe he'll be able to get this Mega, and then make another move on Red. It's quite a while till the quad spawns, because it died so early. 
Oh. Yeah, and all of a sudden all TVS players are down. Phantom has secured an LG for himself with a large stack of red remaining. But uh, Slackers for sure looking better for this quad coming up. Yeah, Maddox timing this red so it should spawn just as he gets up there. ka -ching. and down to quad. Imran's causing a bit of trouble, but he should be taken out pretty quickly. Oh, Santa made a move for the quad, but was denied immediately. Murdoch yeah. listening to the sound cues there from lifts and unable to deny him before any danger could could really happen. Yeah, it's a good good rocket shot. Wow, but <laughs> oh, Santa takes well. him down. Wow, What's going on here? <laughs> every every corner you go around is just a slightly better stacked enemy that will take you down, and then he'll go around the corner and get taken down himself. Yeah, he knew that Santom had an LG at SNG though, so maybe he should have been a bit more careful. Yeah, so what could really cement a team's victory is this pent. <laughs> if they can get guy with pent to go around and clear out the enemy enemy weapons and secure them for the teammates, then that could just give them the edge so they go on a bit of a run and actually make some proper frags and get some proper control in this game. Again we see zero against the thing, and it's Xantom with the pen. Uh, yeah. In fact, three, three rocket launches on TVS. Murdoch just picked one up. Yeah, things are starting to look really good now for TVS. Xantom yeah, making a nice right board right get Murdoch, Murdoch, Murdoch wow. escapes! <laughs> By the skin of his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> again, that, that could have really changed things around. If you've taken that out, that means that means no weapons on, on Slackers and two on TVS. But instead, he survived. He's going to get mega health, probably Murdoch. Yeah, the threat of Murdoch still lives at SNG. Just lurking in that area. So all the TDS players will be aware that he's he's hanging out there, waiting for him to make his move. Wow, zero going through window and up to to yellow high to attack instead. Wow, and Santum uh -huh. picking an unfavorable engagement there against uh, Paradox. Yeah, nice, nice shafting by Paradox to take him down. Um, quite a lot of rocket launches, 3-2 to, to SR and rocket launches. Um, TVS only 20 frags ahead still, just from that beginning bit of red control I think. Um, but they're doing a lot of fragging now. Um, looks, looks very, very even stack-wise. Um, with most of the control of red being in slackers at the moment. Yeah. Looks like, yeah, TVS are going to attack there. I oh, don't know. No, it looks like Xantom attacked and got taken down at red. So here's him and in. Moving into red. And Murdoch's up on top. He's unable to knock Murdoch off. Murdoch kills Blaze and kills Xantom. So slackers still with the red control. It looked really good there for TVS, but Murdoch sneaked into red, managed to secure the red, and then just stood at high and spammed rockets. <laughs> and yeah. eventually came out ahead. But it's still super even. Yeah, Slackers with two rocket launchers with armor now. And quad, so this this could be it turning towards Slackers here. It's, they've got a frag difference to make up. Oh, he's, trying to, he's trying to find that rocket launcher, but... He, He's managed to be invaded. Come yeah. Down. Gives up goes for just speed. Wow. There go. Oh, great shot there. Another direct hit, denying the enemy. He's getting so completely denied here in his tracks. His yeah. squadron not getting much of anything done. Killing a few spawners there, but not really threatening the weapons of slackers. So Slacker's still in control though of red, the red yeah. area of the map. Oh, wow, but he left SMG. red. Yeah, it looks like Blaze has moved in. Um, okay, this next squad. Let's see whether Murdoch can do a better job this time round. Yeah, Ooh, so nice a very classic move from Milton here moving into red just when Quad's about to spawn because he knows that the the guys keeping red safe normally will probably be at quad trying to take that one. And he'll get he'll get position. And red red room is quite easy to defend relatively when you're up on top. But it looks like he had to retreat to get some health uh, and was taken out there by the quad. Murdoch really needs that armor. His teammates are leaving it for him. It's good. 
And Slack is now with three rocket launchers to two. Murdoch will put pressure on this yellow. He'll, he'll meet a couple of rocket launchers here. Here's, here's Milton. And hit some of those wow. rockets. Oh, shafted in the back. Brilliant by Blaze there to hide his weapon and, to, and then pick the moment to just come up behind and totally take him out. So Slack is unable to get a lock on despite having three rocket launchers a minute ago. They've just got one now and it's Paradox. Imminence here, SNG. Takes out Diman. Hopefully the health will be there for him. Oh, okay, Blaze with a quad here. He doesn't have any cell stone to his LG. It's 3 1 rocket launchers to TVS now. And they're, they're still in the lead just by 30 frags now. So despite. Despite so much chaos and, and everybody dying in you know just a, a minute or two maximum survival time, TVS have managed to maintain this wow. lead. Oh, Murdoch, great rocket takes him out. Wow, another one dead. Yeah. Oh, huge shot right. there by Murdoch, but attacking into three enemy weapons is a bit too much. Yeah. Yeah, he is but a man. But <laughs> great, great aim there to take out those two. Yeah, for sure. A nice mid air rocket and everything, but. Not enough. Wow. Zero's got his pen. Yeah, TVS neglecting that pen slightly. Imminent, of course, wanting a, a red before he can pick that one up. But not in time. He killed his teammate there for ammo, I believe. Yeah, I think so too. Wow. <laughs> oh, he gets stuck on the ledge, unable to follow Milton away. This red swan in just in time for Milton to take it and run. Yeah, Zero unfortunately missing a very important rocket, but oh, landing that one. Oh, he gets him at the end of his run. Wow. So it leaves, and even then leaves a pack with no other rocket launchers on the uh, map. That could be a, a crucial pick up there. Yeah, Murdoch picked up the pack. So important. Wow. He, he had a lot of trust in his team out there to leave that pack on his own. But no rockets for Zero, and he gets oh, taken no. down by Blaze's LG there. Wow. Again, you know, just... Things seem to be going really good for you, you think you might get a lock and then go around the corner and get shafted to death. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't believe how this game is turning back and forth all the time. Oh, Milton has some great, great knowledge that um, the opponent would just run past him there. He's <laughs> just to force his way through. Maybe a bit of luck and he's going to 6 -0. Yeah, that's a matrix move right there, 6 <laughs> HP with a stacked enemy running past you. <laughs> that doesn't normally happen. <laughs> Zero unable to, to do much with that kill. Uh, Paradox in a uh, yellow here. He's going to get a couple of small frags. He's getting close. Wow, down, oh, really nice play close. by Paradox there. Yeah. yeah, really good. While shooting to back off into this, into this uh, yellow box. So that the enemies can't get a good shot on him with their shotguns. When it's this tight, those moves can, can decide a game. Like Down to just 17 frags difference now. Milton's there at red. Uh, Milton's not going to make a move on this course. It's 5 seconds away, but he knows how many enemies are there. Oh, here he is. Oh. Actually. He's making wow, Lenny's red. good rockets on Paradox. Wow, brilliant. Wow, oh, that's insane. Fantastic long range rockets there from Milton. Wow. Oh, Gives him the TVS the quad. Imina makes it out just barely. Oh. Just two and a half minutes left. That that could have been a very, very, very crucial move. Yeah, for Wilson, sure. Wow. Wilson retains red control. Makes a massive difference to the game there, landing those long range rockets. Yeah, for sure. Wow. Things were looking so bleak for TVS. All they had was Milton at red with a rocket launcher, but. Sometimes all you need is Milton. <laughs> Sometimes that's just all you need. <laughs> There's so, so TVS many things. With, yeah, TVS with two guys with red, one being Mills and there's, there's zero. But with two minutes left, there's, there's 21 frags in it. So I think even if TVS managed to be taken out, they could probably slow score and hide. Yeah, 24 frags and no weapons for slackers. This is looking really grim. Murdoch picking up a quad though. Yeah, the, the difference between these the frag count here must have stayed within like 35 maximum I think normally hovering around the 20 mark for the entire 20 minutes of this game
Yeah, truly insane. They've been trading so evenly all the time, like a quad life expectancy was like four seconds. <laughs> yeah. Like even, even a weapon that red armor life expectancy was about a minute. Yeah. Yeah, completely insane that no team was able to like cement some kind of control and, and get some spawn fragging going. It just shows how how evenly matched these teams are. Neither team got he's that with the shot. Uh, neither team got a um, got four rocket launches at any point. Um, a couple of times I had three, but only for a few seconds. Yeah, for a very, very few seconds. <laughs> wow! Oh, nice. Comes in the back door. Milton, well, well his teammates distract the enemy, of course. Oh, took out a teammate there in the chaos. Great uh, shafting, but, but Paradox Par Par gets taken down. Yeah, and with that quad, I think uh, Milton just secured the win for TVS here. Yeah, if it was ever in doubt. Milton denies any chance of a comeback. We're down in seconds here. Yeah, a fitting end with Milton doing the last quad run. Eventually yeah. got down though, but... I wanted him to discharge then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be a really fitting end. <laughs> okay, so 218 to 186 TVS over Slackers. That's round one to TVS. Um, let's move on to round two. Let's see what map it is. Huh? <laughs> 